Welcome to Power Electronics Education Electronic Book Tutorial 6 Non Isolated DC DC Converters with Real Components. This tutorial is presented by Dr. Firuzare. So, in this example, we have a boost converter. Input voltage is 5 volts. Load resistance is 10 ohms. Internal resistor of the inductor is 0.01 ohms. And the voltage across the diode is 0.8 volts. Now we have to find the output voltage for these duty cycles when the converter operates in continuous conduction mode. So basically this is the conversion ratio. And because the voltage drop across the switch is zero, that means considering an ideal switch and these resistors are zero, then we can simplify the equation that means the output voltage equals to V in divided by D prime minus VD times of 1 over K boost and in this case K boost this factor equals to 1 plus RL divided by D prime square times of R. Now we can find the output voltage for these duty cycles. So let's start with this duty cycle point 0.1 so in this case D prime is 0.9 so the output voltage equals to input voltage which is 5 volts divided by D prime which is 0.9 minus voltage across the diode 0.8 times of 1 over K boost so basically K boost is 1 plus RL which is 0.01 divided by D prime square 0.9 square times of R which is 10 ohm. If you simplify and find this term the output voltage is 4.75 while in an ideal case we get 5.55 so the other point is that when D2 cycle is 0.5 which is equal to D prime the output voltage is 5 divided by D prime which is 0.5 minus the voltage across the diode times of this term and here we have different duty cycle which is 1 plus 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.5 square times of 10 and if you calculate this term the output voltage is 9.16 while in real case we have 10 volts and for this duty cycle 0.9 which means D prime is 0.1 the output voltage is 5 divided by 0.1 minus 0.8 times of this factor which is basically 1 plus 0.01 divided by 0.1 square times of 10 which gives 44.72 while in real case we have 50 so here we can see that this factor basically equal to 1.1 001 and here 
we can see that this factor when duty cycle is high equal to 0.1 so basically the output voltage will be affected by this resistor so that's why we can see that at high duty cycle the output voltage is changed but here because the duty cycle is not significant so this part cannot affect the output voltage while the voltage across the diode can change it because duty cycle is pretty low D prime is almost equal to 1 so this term minus this term means that the voltage across the diode can change the output voltage while here the voltage across the diode is not significant compared to this term because 5 divided by 0.1 is 50 so that's why the significant part is this factor so in this example we have a bulk boost converter and the system operates in continuous conduction mode the voltage across the switch is 2.4 and the voltage across the diode is 0.8 volts so the output voltage should be kept at 24 volts and now the question is that if the input voltage fluctuates between 12 and 48 what are the duty cycle for this converter so we can look at the output voltage in terms of these factors basically we know the conversion ratio because these resistors are zero that means K buck boost equals to 1 so in this case we can simplify the equation so V out equals to V in times of D divided by D prime minus D divided by D prime times of Vs minus Vd now we can find the duty cycle for two different inputs suppose that the input voltage is 12 so in this case the output voltage should be 24 D divided by D prime which is 1 minus D times of input voltage which is 12 minus D divided by D prime which is 1 minus D times of Vs which is 2.4 minus the voltage across the diode so in this case we have 24.8 equals to D over 1 minus D times of 12 minus 24 which is 9.6 so now we can find the duty cycle so in this case duty cycle approximately equals to 0.72 so what about the input voltage of 48 so in this case again 24 equals to D divided by 1 minus D times of 48 minus D divided by D prime or 1 minus D times of 2.4 minus 0.8 and here again 24 point eight equals to D divided by one minus D times of forty five point six. So now we can see that D equals to point three five two. So that means to be able to control the output voltage for this particular case, so the duty cycle should be changed between point 352 till 0.72 in order to have that voltage.